What's up guys, it's Muhammad from Product Feedback and we're going to be looking at a pretty interesting topic in this video. We'll be checking out whether it's worth investing into this USB 3.0 setup, which is kind of the way that uh, new computers are going, as well as looking at what's kind of available on the market by checking out the Kingston HyperX Max 3.064 gig solid state hard drive, bit of a mouthful, but it is a USB 3.0 external solid state hard drive, which means that it is kind of designed for ultra fast speeds and ultra fast transfers. So it will be a good thing to review at the same time. So what is USB 2? What is USB 3? USB 2 is just a connection that most peripherals use when hooking up to your computer. USB 3.0 is the new standard that a lot of PCs have been uh, moving towards. But in the case of Mac, they are using something called Thunderbolt ports, which kind of are similar, but we'll leave that to another scenario. For most PC users, it's USB 3. So what is the uh, HyperX uh, Kingston external hard drive? Well, pretty much straightforward. It's a external hard drive. They um, are reasonably expensive. You've got to look up your local uh, retailer to find out how much it is, because obviously everyone watches this video from different places within the world. But we'll be reviewing the actual product and seeing if it's uh, worthwhile. So why would you buy a 64 gig solid state hard drive? Well, as most of you would know that an external hard drive, even though they're cheap, they're actually got a moving component on the inside, which means that if, it knock, if you knock it about, if you um, accidentally drop it, there is the possibility that your data that's inside that hard drive can be lost. And for a lot of people, such as business users, people with very important data, that will be a catastrophe. So the HyperX or the Kingston HyperX is designed for those people, as well as those people who transfer a lot of files very quickly, very um, on a daily basis, and then they want to save time by doing it. So having a USB 3.0 device is a very good option. It's pretty well built. Uh, not a fan of the color, unfortunately, uh, considering it's something uh, reasonably expensive. I would have liked it to look a little bit more the par, but in regards though, it is quite solidly built. If I dropped it, I would be pretty happy to say that it would survive, hopefully. Uh, nothing really to it. You've obviously got a USB 3.0 connection on the side. Uh, they give you the cable for that, which is uh, something interesting, which I haven't seen before, but it's basically the, su it's the USB uh, Super Speed B connector, which I'm assuming is a standard now, and you've got the A connector, which is the standard connection what that most computers have. You can tell whether it's USB 3 because it's got the usually light blue connection on the end. So that's out the way. So we're going to test it out and uh, I'll, I'll let you know how fast the actual hard drive operates in comparison to the two. All right, we've tested out the Kingston HyperX. We've uh, done it on USB 2 and USB 3. And as you can see here, uh, that USB 2, the read and write is actually 33 meg and 22 meg respectively. Whereas on USB 3, it's 125 meg read and 86.4 meg write. So USB 3 definitely is a lot faster connection. And if you're transferring files around on a constant basis or especially large files, and it, it is worth upgrading to a hard drive or a solid state drive like this just to improve your transfer rate speeds. Now using our real weld setup, we're gonna transfer a 1.3 gigabyte file and we'll see how long it takes in terms of time. And as you can see here, transferring over to the Kingston HyperX, uh, on USB 2 you get about one minute for a transfer, whereas on USB 3 it only takes 18 seconds. So it shaves a lot of time off your uh, transfer rates and it's definitely worth getting a, in this case, a solid state drive. And in this case, the Kingston HyperX, which is doing a very good job in terms of utilizing USB 3.0. So would I recommend the Kingston HyperX 64 gig? Definitely, if you're after a solid state drive that you want to carry around with you, portable, it's got the connections, it's got the speed, and it's got the performance. Um, in comparison to other internal solid state drives, it's not that quick, but in terms of external hard drives with uh, USB 3.0 performance, it definitely stacks up to be one of the fastest. And obviously the fact that if you're carrying it around and something happens, like you drop it, there's no moving parts, there's no components just accidentally break or fall apart. So the reliability is a lot better. I give it a four star. Uh, the only downside being that it is quite expensive, but you've got to check that out through your local retailers. 
And my name is Muhammad. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Product Feedback, and I'll catch you guys in another video shortly. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed. Thank you.